Attention! This is the police! Come out with your hands up! No way! It's really happening! I can finally escape! Escape? Escape? No! No, no, no! Huh? Uh, what's wrong, Huggy? No, no! Blair! It's happening again! What's happening? What's that black stuff on you? There's no time! Save yourself! No, we can't leave you! <laughs> I am free again! Huggy? Guess again. Now, time to die. Wait, Huggy, stop! No! No! Take it down! What is this thing made of? Oh my god! I gotta get out of here! There! It's my only chance! Wow! I can't believe I survived that! Thank goodness I landed on... Get off of me! Yeah, Gilly Willy! You're... Still alive? Barely. No thanks to you. Yeah, well, you kind of deserved it, you know. For being evil. <laughs> Is that what you'll tell Huggy too? How'd you know about that? Oh, just a guess. This isn't the first time this has happened to him, you know. What is happening to him? That is a long story. First off, that creature upstairs is not your friend. Then who is he? Someone who has been wronged, and so has wronged in turn. Like all of us here at Playtime Co., he wasn't always evil. Hello? But what is it? Is that any way for a Playtime Co. employee to answer the phone, Mr. Xavier? Oh. Sir, I, I apologize. I, I didn't expect you to call so late. And I didn't expect you to have so much trouble delivering on your design. I, I promise you, we're working tirelessly, day and night. We just... we just had a bit of a setback is all. Indeed. I heard of the mess you made. Yet another one of your catastrophic failures, Mr. Xavier. I'll get it right. I just need more time. I promise- So many promises from you tonight. One more bungling like this, and I promise you that I'll see you out on the street and will ensure that not a toy maker in the entire world will hire you again. What will you do then, Mr. Xavier? I won't fail. No matter what. With no other option, Xavier chose to take drastic measures in order to ensure his project's success. His project? Huggy Wuggy. He used a prototype serum, one of several he was developing, on poor, innocent Mr. Wugson. This, combined with other methods, was enough to turn the man into the beast. But while Xavier saw his chance for redemption, Huggy took his chance for revenge. With the last ounce of his strength, Xavier was able to inject himself with one of his experimental serums. This did little to save his life, of course. Foolish human. But with this final act, Xavier's essence lived on as X. X? But, Killy, Huggy's been normal this whole time. Well, as normal as a 10 foot tall Brillo pad can be. I'm getting there. On stormy nights, just like tonight, X would escape from this factory to wander the city, all the while hiding his excursions from Poppy, Missy, and even Huggy himself, who understood little of what was brewing inside of him. So, what did he do out there? Something that I greatly admired. He killed. Effectively. Precisely. Extensively. Always leaving his gruesome calling card behind. A single bloody poppy. Wow, that's dark. You don't know the worst of it. Make sure to wash your hands before dinner. 
new from Playtime Co. It's the lovable, snuggable, and oh-so-huggable Huggy Wuggy, coming soon. <laughs> What is that? Ah! Stay back! Sir, we recovered a package inside the facility. It's just a doll. No sign yet of the missing kid with the red hat. It's not. Sir? You said it's just a doll. It's not. Your orders. It's past time we shut this place down for good. Get in there. Shoot anything that moves. Yes, sir! How do you know all this? Because X was the one who broke me free. He told me that he wanted to punish Huggy, and anyone else he felt was responsible for what happened. I was just a useful tool for his revenge. We have to stop him. <laughs> you cannot stop him. No one can. I beat you, didn't I? We have to try. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere. But if you wish to get yourself killed, I won't stop you. In fact, I'll relish in the thought. Now, hold still. Huh? Nice try, detective. You finally tracked my poppies back to me. It certainly took you long enough. You... you'll suffer for what you've done. You have no idea. You've returned, just in time. I know what happened to you, Xavier. What? Where did you hear that name? I know it's not your fault. You didn't mean to do it, any of it. You love them. No, no, stop. I... You didn't mean for any of this to happen. You just wanted to look after your family. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry too. That it's taken me this long to kill you. Did you really think some beauty hug was going to make a difference? I don't care about you. Not so fast. No! Yes, player. It'll all be over soon. <laughs> and you can die right next to the detective that failed to save you. Look! What? What is this? You know what it is. Your family. You may not care about me, but I know you care about them. X turned you into a monster, Xavier. Don't let it hurt anyone else. Huggard, please forgive me. For everything. Thanks, player. I owe you one. You got it, pal. <laughs>